guy and they used to call me the tomato man. And it happened that I had a row of tomatoes and I was feeding the kids the cherry tomatoes. And when I got through, one little boy didn't get any. He running. Mr. Tomato Man, Mr. Tomato Man. And that's how I got the name. I don't know, I had nothing to do, so I walked into the garden. And I, I enjoyed myself for some reason, the kids running around and everything. So I, I met Lisa, and they had a, an open house one day, and I went back and went back. Finally, I started to uh, work. And I go to the grapevine, and I said to her, this grapevine needs a, a trimming. So I showed her how to do it, and I did the whole thing. And I kept that growing till it got some nice grape. And then she would say to me, do you have any extra tomato plants? Oh yeah, I'll bring you a half of that. And I planted them there. And then it was a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And then I'd help her clean up, or I'd uh, mow the lawn. I learned from my father, like the fig tree. Don't kill the bees, don't kill the bees. And you'd, you'd come out here, and he would have a pipe there. And inside the pipe, there was bees. And he would love to see them come out. And, mm -hmm. and, and he says the plants need to be... Pollinated. Pollinated. You know? And that's how I learned about the bees. He could walk out here, he'd have bees on him, flies on him, whatever. Don't kill the bees. And somebody will come in, oh, don't kill the bees. Don't kill the bees. You see it in Italian. My favorite tomato, beefsteak. Why? Because it's the tastiest and the skin is the softest. Uh huh. What do you use for fertilizer? I buy the fertilizer that's in the potting soil. Mm -hmm. I buy about seven bags of potting soil. Mm -hmm. And there's two years fertilizer in it. I, th I think I read somewhere that you or your family in the past would use fish from the Mystic River? Is that true? You just brought me down to the river in Medford. Mm -hmm. There's an area there that has a little waterfall. Do you know where that is? Mm -hmm. We used to go there and make love and stuff like that. You know, you sit in the car and that's, that's dating. But anyway, when, it, when the fish used to go up the pond to reproduce, mm -hmm. why, I don't know. We used to catch them as kids. Mm -hmm. We used to get down and grab them. And I'd, I'd fill a whole bucket full. Mm -hmm. When my father saw that, when I brought it in, oh my God, you think I'd give him a million bucks? Well, the first thing they ought to do is find out in which direction the sun shines and don't plant 
squash plants facing the sun. Do you know why? Why? Because you might have other plants there, and then plants will grow right over the other plants. I see. Always plant your, mostly your squash facing the sun. Did I teach you something? You did, I learned something.